I'm here talking about iCalendar Agenda, which is an open source JavaFX control to display, add, and revise calendaring objects from an ICS file based on the iCalendar RFC 5545 standard. For more information, including a free download, visit jfextras.org. In this demo, I'm going to demonstrate creating and editing new events. First, I'm going to open up and show the um, sample code that will display the, um, the agenda. So here I have a class that extends application which is needed for JavaFX applications. And I have overridden the start method. And then I've set up the, the, the parent node and I created a vCalendar object. And vCalendar is the parent um, object inside of the iCalendar FX model which contains the calendaring information. And that is a parameter inside of iCalendar Agenda, which is the control that will display and manipulate the vCalendar information. I then set the parent node to the center of uh, I set the agenda to the parent of the to the center of the border pane. I create a few buttons to increase the week and decrease the week so we can scan through different um, time frames that are being displayed. And these are the event handlers to provide that functionality. And then I created the scene. I added the scene to the primary stage, gave it a title, and created an event handler to display the um, iCalendar information that we created, um, and it's displayed to the console. And then we show the stage. Okay, so let's run it. So here we have a empty iCalendar agenda. And first thing I want to do is simply create a individual um, event. And that is done by clicking on a, um, a portion and dragging and then releasing the mouse. And then you've created a new event. You can give it a name. Okay, you can just leave it as new. You can give it a different category which will color code the events. And then you have created a, a single event. Okay. Um, this event can be edited in one of two ways. First, you can right-click on the on the event, and that will open up a um, a pop-up that has um, a large number of editing features. You could then cl also click left-click on the event, and a small pop-up appears that gives you three choices: edit, delete, and cancel. And if I click edit, then I go back to the exact same pop-up. So on the first tab of the edit pop-up, I can edit the um, what I call describable properties. The first one is the start time and the end time. And if you change the start time, which will be done by either typing or clicking on the, the clock here, and you can change the date, you can change the, the time, and if you change those, and then you click on the check mark, the um, duration of the event remains unchanged. Let me just do it by typing, you'll see how when I change focus, how that time then is automatically adjusted to keep the uh, um, one hour and 55 minute time frame. Okay? If you want to change the time, the amount of time, you have to actually edit the end time. That one can be done and then you maintain the same time. There, so now I have a two hour appointment. 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. The summary is a um, brief information about the event and that is included in the rendered rectangle on the display. So the description is a detailed um, information about the event. And the location can be wherever you want the event to be. And then we have categories. They can be categorized um, by 24 different choices. They can be given names. Okay, And then you change the color and if you come back you see the name has then been changed. Okay, so here we're going to save that and now the um, time has changed and the summary inside of um, the event has changed. Um, iCalendar Agenda also supports repeatable events. 
So I'm going to create a repeatable event. I'm going to similarly click on the display. I'm going to go to Advanced Edit. Okay. And then when I go over to the repeat repeatable tab, there is a checkbox. When that is selected, the controls for making it a repeatable event become active. And the first um, option inside of this control is to adjust the frequency of the event. And there are um, four options, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. When daily is, is selected, some of the options disappear. Weekly, you can pick the days of the week. Monthly, you can pick if it starts by the day of the month or by the day of the week, which would mean um, this is an October 10th appointment, so if it was by day of the month, it would always be the 10th of the month. And if it was day of the week, then we would be looking at the second Monday of the month. Okay? And yearly simply is following that calendar date, October 10th, every year. Um, you can adjust the date that it starts, and that is bound bound to the start and end time, so if you adjust that, those will change as well if you selected the um, first event in the sequence. Um, then you have the ending criteria. There are three choices. You have it ends never, you could have it end after a certain number of events, and you can have it end on a particular date. And if you picked a date that is not valid because um, the what date I selected, the 15th is not a Monday, then that is invalid. You have to go back and select a better choice. So that one will work. Okay. And at the bottom you have a summary which is describes uh, in plain words what the repeat rules will produce. And then we have a um, list of exceptions. These are date time combinations in which you do not want the repeat rule to apply. So if I want this repeat rule to be every Monday except October 17th, I can then add that to the list and then there will be no October 17th. So I can click Save and I have now made a repeating event. And If I click over I see there is no October 17th, but then it comes back on October 24th. Okay. Um, iCalendar Agenda also supports whole day events, which can be created by clicking in the small region just below the date. And these um, events are just the same as the um, time-based ones, except the whole day checkbox is clicked. It can be toggled. And they can also be made repeatable just the same. Um, events can be graphically changed. A individual event, if you gra grab it and then move it to another location, it is immediately changed. The start and end time are automatically adjusted. For a repeating event, it is not as clear. Let me make one that has some events that appear within one week. Okay. So if I click an event that is not the first one, like here in this case I'm taking the third one, and I move it to another time. Now the user is prompted um, regarding the scope of the change. Is that change going to apply to this event only, this and future events, or all events in the series? If you select this event only, or this and future events, the iCalendar FX model will create a second um, uh, um, v event to represent the new series and will truncate the old one with an until feature. Um, actually that occurs with this in future. With this event only it will create a new v event that has the same ID as the parent but has a recurrence ID property matching the date time of the original event. That matches the um, uh, specification in RFC 5545. We'll do it just for one event. Okay, so now I have a special um, recurrence right here. Okay, um, when you delete events, that can be done in one of two ways. 
I can click on an event and then I can click the delete button and if it's a repeat event I will get prompted for the same same choices okay if I click all even the the recurrence child will be deleted as well we'll just delete one and with that case the <coughs> um, ex date property has now been populated with that date time as being an exception um, so when we're finished we can export this to an ICS file and in this demo I will have the vCalendar um, content displayed in the console when I close the control so let's just close it now so down here in the console I have the calendaring information that was just generated by what we did so I'm going to copy and paste that and we'll save that to a file and to demonstrate that um, iCalendar agenda follows the iCalendar standard, we're going to then import this information into a, another calendaring um, system. Um, here we have Google Calendar. We can import the information that we just created. And we'll import that into an empty calendar. So we successfully imported five events. And then you see we have the events just as we did um, on iCalendar, thus showing the interoperability with other calendaring systems. And that concludes this demonstration of iCalendar Agenda.